You just want to spice up your text a little bit, add some color to it. Hey everyone, Susie here. Thank you so much for watching this video and checking out my YouTube channel. Are you sick of doing custom text and just having it be one single black stroke? and you just want to spice up your text a little bit, add some color to it. Well, this tutorial video is for you. I just want to show an example of one of my pieces. This is for my pet sitting business. And this is the text that I am using as an example. And then also, here's another example that I'm using as well. It's basically laundry bin stickers of my boyfriend and I. And so see how there's like a nice cool gradient in the text. I wanted to do something fun and colorful, but I kept forgetting how to do it because I don't normally add text that often in my pieces. And so I tried to search it on Google and YouTube and I could not find any tutorials. So I just want to give this tutorial because it was very frustrating and annoying to be able to even find a solution for my problem. I want to first start off by saying I am currently using Clip Studio Paint X. I've had this software since community college, so probably since 2017. I, for a long time, only had Pro, and then when it went on sale to upgrade, I upgraded. And I fell in love with this software. It's so diverse, but there is a learning curve and it can be very confusing because there's a lot of things to look at. I've had to basically watch a bunch of tutorial videos myself because I don't always do digital art and I can easily forget where everything is and how to do things. So starting off, you want to basically just open up a new file and it could be whatever size. I'm just using a standard eight and a half by 11 inch canvas as an example. And specifically for me, I really love to use my own text instead of a standard font. I don't know why, I think it just has to do with the personalization and the customization. And even when I do want to do really nice text. I'd rather just draw it myself. Also, there's just a lot of fonts and I really don't want to go through all of them to find a font that I personally do like. So before I even started this recording, I went through and looked because I'm also going to show you how to change just font colors as well when you do want to just choose a font text. But anyways, I'm just going to basically write my name or draw my name and you're going to want to make sure the lines are definitely closed because if there's an opening it's going to fill the background as well. Okay, so basically that is it. And before you even want to do the gradient, I basically just decide the colors that I want to use. So I'm using a red and a blue. And I'm just going to use the blue real quick to fill it because this is what you really need to remember. If you don't fill the text before you d use the gradient layer, it won't show up or it'll just show up the background. I had an issue with this literally a couple of days ago when I was trying to remember how to do this. And luckily my boyfriend, he's a graphic designer and he was able to help me. <laughs> so yes to him, woo to him. After you filled the text, you are going to want to use the magic wand and hold down shift, at least for my setup, Hold down shift and you're going to select the letters.
and from there you're going to go to layer new layer and gradient and there you go now the gradient is the blue and the red and you get to see the nice in between color so say you also just want to use text but instead of having you know the standard black text you actually want it to be a nice cool color type my name I'm going to use black just to just so you could see it since black tends to be the standard color and then I enlarged it and deselected again you're going to go to the magic wand hold down shift and select all of the letters now if you want each letter to be a different color then you would only select the letter that you want to use those specific colors changing the blue down here and again go to layer new layer and gradient and bam there you go now your text is also has a gradient fill so I hope that this tutorial was helpful I tried to be pretty efficient and quick and if you have any other questions or any other suggestions that you would like me to do tutorials on, then feel free to leave a comment. And thank you so much again for watching this video. If you find this video super helpful, I would greatly appreciate if you hit the like and comment and then also subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm hoping to do more Clip Studio paint tutorials just because sometimes my problems that I have with the software, it's pretty much a hit or a miss. You know, some YouTubers will cover it and other times I will just be banging my head against a wall trying to find the solutions to my issues and just getting really frustrated and impatient. So whenever I am having an issue, I'm just going to record it and post it to my YouTube channel in case there is not an actual solution. So. Again, thank you so much and I hope you have a great day or night whenever you are watching this video. Bye!